20 pounds on your center of gravity. I would if I... Yeah, yeah, talk to the womb. Your name, please? It's Sherry Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R. Three o'clock? You're number 15 on his list. Okay. You just had to go around and around and around the block, didn't you? I was the spot, didn't I? Yeah, well, now we're number 15 on the list. Uh, it's a power number? Don't tell me that's the date you lost your cherry. Seriously. Uh, help me. Uh. Whoopi, looks like we're gonna be here a while. I'll find something to do. Something else. Something else. Oh! Marin Foster, 3 p.m.? No, no, I'm the father, she's Just the... fill out the form. But you're the... You want to know the sex of the baby? Do you want to be in the delivery room? Then write. That's it. That's it. Make way, people! Triplets coming through! Zip it. No one is listening to your bragging. Oh. Olivia and Richard Dunn, D-U-N-N, 3.30. You are number 16 on his list. Okay. Okay. Beep! 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 That was funny the first 10 times. Now, Dick? Not so much. <sighs> Number 16, please. It's a far, far more fatherly thing that I do. That's the bathroom. Shit. Knitting? No, thanks. Oh, you, you meant, oh. What? Really? Seriously? Make way, Dick's triplets coming through. I am not wearing one of those. Mm, you will if I can <laughs> Foot drugs? <laughs> Really, Liv? <laughs> really? This is what it feels like? Uh, like. Yes. Uh, help them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thanks, eh? We dudes gotta stick together. Yeah, yeah. Would you? Yeah, yeah, real funny. Oh no. Number one emergency. Number one emergency. game I like to play to get back at him. He talked me into having a kid. So instead of me running a home daycare, I'm carrying one. 
<laughs> yeah, he's a real dick, all right, but he's my dick. Oh, you take it. I'm here next week. No, no, I insist. We have a subscription. Oh. Isn't it just obscenely decadent? I've never seen the issues. He's afraid I'll crack the spine. Hey, I'm letting you have my baby. That attitude is way sexist. It's about as unsexist as baby making can get. He takes me out for a few drinks too many. Next thing I know, he signs me up for ovary shots and I end up in there with my feet in stirrups. <laughs> Thank goodness for modern science. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, my sympathies. For her? Well, he must be out of trouble in the fire range. Dick! Well, Liv, it must be him. She's working okay. Oh, don't you have to go again? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh heck, there's just no apologizing for him. Life takes all kinds. Mm -hmm. So when are you due? Uh, another two months, give or take. You? Two months, six days, three hours. C-section. <sighs> So Mare really wants his baby to experience a natural birth. Mare? You wouldn't deny her an epidural, would you? Oh, hardly. I might end up asking her to share. <laughs> he passes out every time we watch one of those birthing videos. So Mare, uh, she been bugging you with getting the nursery decorated? Actually, that's more of Roger's forte. <sighs> but he can't figure out what kind of design he wants to go with. Prince or princess? Roger? That's the reason why we're having this sonogram. In just one test, we can find out the gender of the baby and calm Roger down. Roger? Who's Roger? Roger's my partner. Oh, what business are you in? Decorating? Stop. They obviously love each other. Like sister and brother. Roger is my life partner and the biological father of her child. I just don't get it. Dick. Dick, I second that. Screw it. Come on, you and me, right here, right now. Let's, let, let's do it. That's my baby, you go girl. Mayor, sit. Beside Dick. Listen here, Dickie. I deal with troglodytes like you all day at the hotel. All bravado and bluff. But guess what? You and Mare, you're not that different. You both wanted a baby. You both wanted to be fathers. Oh, such a cute couple. <laughs> She's dangerous with those needles. Our mother's temper. Women, you can't live with them. Can't get any without them. Present company excluded. Roger and I would never fault your logic. So have you picked out any names yet? We were thinking Marta for a girl. And for a boy, well, it was going to be Richard. Oh, God. The world has enough dicks. Amen. Number 15? That's us. We're up. <laughs> Sonogram awaits. <laughs> this baby, it's not gonna be a dick. I'm overdue. I'm overdue. I'm overdue. Number 16. I, love you. I should have thought twice. Oh, not been oh, so nice. Okay. I'm overdue because okay. of you. Okay. Oh.
because of you. Pressure on the bladder, epidural and more. Really wasn't what I was bargaining for. But now I have to face the fact that there is just no going back. I'm overdue. I'm overdue. I'm overdue because of you. Overdue.